Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly for those of you who are new. Sorry, I'm not really good at like introducing myself at the beginning of videos. I keep forgetting like not everyone who's gonna be watching is gonna be like the vendor before. Anyway, so far, interesting morning. I actually yesterday and today I finally, finally found some of the wet and wild Alice makeup. I found some of the one Walmart next county over in the county I'm in today. I found I finally, finally found the display found the display of all the makeup. Uh oh, like buzzer. Um anyway, so don't don't do it up to me. Anywho. So I got in there today and I was just there a week ago, exactly a week ago, and there was nothing. I get in there today and the big old display is there and it's almost pick clean. I'm like seriously but fortunately most of the things that I wanted were there. Like I found the Cheshire Cat mirror. There's one left. There's like three makeup bags. I still have not found the brushes. I left some of the makeup behind, things like eyeliner, and there's like a, a lip and cheek thing. Like, I just, I have a special eyeliner that I'm already using that I, I, I don't like liquid eyeliner. I've tried them before. I don't care. Ah, okay, I'm stopping this one. Stopping on the teal light, and there goes my purse. Okay. Um, but, anyway. So, I got those things, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I'm heading over to a Target today, and I'm hoping that maybe the Target will have some more stuff. Target's supposed to have this Wet n' Wild Alice in Wonderland makeup. So, anyway, so I'm going there hoping I can at least find the brushes. If I can find at least one more thing, I want to find the brushes. Oh, and the other eyeshadow uh, makeup palette. There is There are three small round palettes. I think one's a bronzer and the other two are eyeshadows, I think. And there's like one big eyeshadow palette, which I got as well. I'll show you at the end. I'm also going to try and hit Goodwill today, so maybe I'll have some tips and things. Let's see. So, and then, um, what else? I got two there. I got the one round palette the other night. That was the bronzer. And the other round one today. And there's one more out there that I'm hoping to find. So I can't look at you guys because I gotta focus on the room. Safety first, folks. Safety first. Anyway, so here I am at Target Target. So hopefully they have the brushes. Um, and also I need shoes. Oh my word. So today I'm getting a ball dressed nice. I have my date. My date lunch is my hobby. And I put on my these wedge shoes I have not worn in an age. I'm walking out of Walmart, and all of a sudden I feel like there's something, like, I feel like something was stuck to the bottom of my shoe. Like maybe I sipped in gum or something. Oh no. Oh no, the shoe had completely fallen apart. Like, it was hanging on by a thread. So, like, here, I'll show you here in a second when I got the park. Let me park. Oh, it's a tight. Oh, that's too tight. People. Oh, you know, it's not their fault. It's Target's fault. It's a really tight space parking lot. Let me click parking. I'm mean, oh, distracted and probably not holding my phone right. But... I don't want to hit somebody's car, that's a little more important. Anywho, so I'm walking out of Walmart and I'm like feeling like slow. I look down and my shoe is just flopping. The big old wedge. Hold on one second, let me see if I can find it for you. Ugh. This is part of my shoe. <laughs> I don't even remember where I got these. I think these were like Walmart like forever ago. And I haven't worn them in years. I'm like, oh they are cute. Like let me see if I can show you the top part I get here with my foot. This is woven. It's this little thing. They're cute. They're a pain in the butt to put on because of all the straps. So I was walking around. <laughs> I went back into Walmart to see if I could find a pair of shoes. I'm walking around with just that. But honestly, like Walmart selection is really shallow right now with shoes. On. <sighs> anyway, so and all their stuff is just gross. Like I no offense to Walmart, but the shoe selection is really bad right now. But it is like July, so they don't have like their summer selection is is pick through. So to be fair. So here I am at Target, I'm gonna walk in with my broken <laughs> flat shoes that are just, oh gosh, they look horrible. But anyway, so I gotta get moving here because I got like an hour to help with my hubby. I still wanna hit Goodwill, so I've got to move. So I gotta get off this phone um, and go do that. But I'm so excited about the Alice makeup. Um, so when I hit over to Goodwill, I might do some quick footage. And then at the end, I'll basically just show you the makeup. And if I find anything at Goodwill, I'll show you that too, so. Okay, I'm here at the next charity shop. I'm gonna quick walk around in here. I'll quick show you the shoes that I got one second. Yeah, these are not what I would have picked. I could not find anything, but they'll do. But they're kind of rubbing on my feet, but. Oh, first world problems, sorry, first world problems. All right, let's go in here and see if we can find anything cool. When you first walk in this store, they have a bunch of furniture and stuff. This metal, I don't know what you'd call that, metal chest or something was kind of cool. This chair was a really good price for what it was. Three dollars. I didn't buy anything at this store. I just heads up, but they ha did have some really good 
items here. And their prices on a lot of these items were really good. I would come here for furniture if I was looking for a particular piece. A lot of times we'll have sofas and chairs as well. I don't think I got a whole lot of the furniture uh, film though. I mostly go to the home goods. I'm not I'm not really into buy, buying a whole lot of thrifted clothing. Uh, I will on occasion if I'm looking for something specific. It's always so random at this place. I mean, most thrift stores are. I like this little piggy bank. It's really cute with little rabbits on it. These kind of shops are the best ones to find, say, like mid-century, like barware or whatever. I have found some really neat glassware at thrift stores, like a dollar each. When like online, they go for twenty. I, I really don't know what these are for. I do zoom in a little bit here. Solution. I, I still can't see. <laughs> at first, I thought there was some kind of corning ware or something because the the pattern looked like it. This mug was so precious. There's actually a second one I realized later on after I put this down. But this is Archipel, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's basically French Pyrex, is what a lot of Pyrex collectors call this. Beautiful little vintage mug. And there was another one there. I was really tempted after I saw it. It's me. Like, oh, I can have a pair, but I got, I got plenty of mugs. Too much odds and ends. This was interesting. I went to lift it up and I almost lost the lid. They did not tape it down really well. I had a little minor, minor heart attack there. <laughs> As you can see, they have a fairly good selection of stuff. There's nothing I was particularly into at the moment. But I just want to show you guys like this store in particular, because I don't think I've ever filmed this store before. If I have, I don't remember. This is one of those items that you probably, one of these sh shops where you probably won't find anything like of like high value, but a lot of basic everyday stuff are really cheap. So if you needed something for your kitchen or some furniture, this would be the place to go because their prices are so reasonable. I've seen this bowl before. I was just kind of curious. Okay, and I apologize. This is not Goodwill. I realized after I got into Goodwill, I never did like, um, I never segued into it. Like, I never told you I was going into Goodwill, so I apologize. Totally different store now. This is Goodwill. Um, this Goodwill, every so often, I'll find some really good stuff at this one. It's hit or miss, you know, like any thrift store, but their, their shelves are pretty full this week, so that was kind of cool. One thing I noticed with the store, they do use a lot of rubber bands to hold things in, which is fine. In some ways, it's better than tape. But a lot of their... And I don't think I get it on film, but a lot... Oh, yeah, this bowl was really, really cool. That was halfway tempting. Um, but a lot of their glass cups are in plastic bags. They're not... They don't use bubble wrap or paper or anything like that. They just, like, clang against each other in the bags. That makes me a little anxious. They sell them. They're like, I'm surprised they sell that stuff. Some pink glassware. I always think of my mom. Like, every once in a while, I'll pick up some pink glassware because my mom loves to collect that. But I think she has some of those. Whew, excuse me. I'm trying to sneak in yawns here as I'm doing this voiceover. <laughs> I'm so tired today. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. I need some coffee, guys. These were so sweet. They feel like Corel wear. So I did check them. They were actually Corel wear. I didn't know Corel wear made a sweet little pattern. Like, I don't know if they're little homes or little birdhouses, but that was kind of sweet. I love this end cap. They always have like really cool figurines. The owls, those were fun. I thought this bird at first might be like a mid-century, but it's not. It just reminded me of some of the glass artwork or whatever they had back in the day. These little cats are cute. I think these were vintage, actually. Those are fun. I love this little cute. Actually, I forgot about him. Actually, I probably should have... I probably would have bought him had I remembered him. 
We have the willow tree figurines. Back in the day, I did collect these. I had a couple that Josh got me. I had one that was like a pregnant one and one that was holding a baby. Kind of like when I was going through the different stages of like us having kids and stuff. Oh, yeah, I just noticed the pregnant one's back there. <laughs> I did not see that till now. This fish was cool. I thought maybe this was like vintage, but it was really hard to tell. It did have a chip on him, though. Yeah, right there, that top lid. Four bucks, though. If you like something like that, though, that's a good deal. I've seen the pattern before. I think that vase is false craft. I think. I think it's supposed to be an elephant. It just caught my eye. I guess it's just for decor. I have no idea what else you do with it. Oh, you like it again? Sorry. <sighs> Should I had coffee before I did this. My goodness. Sorry, I'm probably making you all yawn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, funky looking vase. This cute little outhouse. That was kind of fun. I don't know. I didn't get it. I didn't know where I'd put it, but it was kind of fun. The country house collection. Oh yeah, I saw this little bank last week. Little Aloha. That is so cute. I'm surprised someone hasn't snagged that up yet. How sweet is that? Oh, these big pumpkin candles. I own I came very close to buying these. I like big candles. It's only four dollars. And they did they're supposed to have a scent, but I really didn't smell anything. They probably would have been okay like once you lit them. See, now I'm kicking myself. I should have bought these darn things. Oh, well. I'm trying to figure out what the heck that was. Do you ever walk through a thrift store and you're like, what the heck? Like, what is it? <laughs> I had those moments a lot when I walked through the store. I'm like, what would you use that for? I have no idea. And this adore plate. I love this brand, Mikasa. I always... I've seen enough of them now. Like, I can spot them. Like, I can tell what it is before I flip it over. They, they just have a particular look to them. And the Corning, Corel. I think it's Corning. They're catching on. Goodwill in our air is catching on. Ten bucks. A few weeks ago, that would have been, like, two ninety nine. And this panther. I was thinking this might be mid-century because I've seen these in black before. Um... But it is not, you'll see here in a second where I flip it over. Ten bucks would have been a really good deal had it been mid-century or vintage. Um, but this one definitely was not. It has the barcode on it. And as you can see, made in China. Kind of a fun idea. Only three bucks for that. If you try to buy one of those um, little knobs for that wood plaque thing, that, one of those is probably worth that. The holly plate was really cool. A little oranges. It looks like it'd be like in the Golden Girls kitchen, doesn't it? Like it reminds you of like something they'd have in their house on on their set. I'm trying to squeeze in here. There's a couple ladies here. Like all of a sudden, want to be right where I want it to be. Like we all were like, congregating in the same section of the. The aisle. Trying to see everything. I like that. It reminds me of my mom. It looks like something she would have. My mom is so good at gardening. Her yard looks beautiful. She's got a nice fence and nice flowers. I always like to check the vases. Because every once in a while, I will find, in a, in a rare moon, I will find like a mid-century vase or something really nice. I love these planters. And they actually sort of kind of had a drainage hole on the side. But I've had these kind before. And they don't always drain very well. They were beautiful. But for four bucks. I was feeling kind of cheap today. So I didn't buy those. <laughs> They're beautiful though. Oh yeah. I forgot about this clock. Oh yeah. I just had a quick walk by me. I was trying to like... 
I was trying to check stuff and she was like, I must have been like blocking her way. She's like, excuse me, I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I really try to pay attention when I'm, I'm recording, but. I can't decide if this darn clock was tacky or really cool. I think to somebody would be really cool. Fun mid-century clock. If you're into ships and all that. They always have a terrific selection of plates in here. Maybe a little heart plate in the bottom shelf. I'm just now seeing that. It's so funny when you go back and edit things, especially when you go through shelves. There's stuff that I totally missed the first time around. So I usually when I get to a thrift shop, I'll walk through the aisles two or three times because I always, always miss something. I have this aisle designated, like one side is like plates and then lamps, and on this side it's like artwork, frames, what have you. So again, the prices are really reasonable, so if, even if you're just looking for a frame, it's kind of nice to go to Goodwill, like, rather than a store that sells frames. You'll probably get a better deal at a thrift store. I have a really good selection. I'm sure, like, anybody could find something here. In a second here, I think there's a mirror... Yeah, here it is. I almost bought this last week. This little, like, stained glass mirror with the, um, butterfly and stuff. I almost bought it, but I had no place for it. I'm like, you know what? If I can't picture where I'm going to put it, it's going to stay. It's poor little lamp has seen better days, but it's a really nice antique lamp. I forget how much. It's $15.99, I think. Yeah, $15.99. It's not a bad, bad price for an old lamp like that. It's in good condition. Okay, I am home and I am so tired. I'm gonna be like way low energy for the end of this video just because I am beat. It's so hot out today. It's not 115 degrees like out in the southwest, but it's hot out. I've had my hair done all day. I just had a big lunch and I am so tired, but I want to get this video out for you guys. And I feel like doing the video, oddly enough, even though I'm so tired, I probably should have made myself an iced coffee, but be that as it may, I'm here, so <laughs> anyway, if I get too sleepy, I might pause this and go make myself a nice coffee, or by the time I'm done, I might go make one. Anyway, I am so sluggish. This summer is taking it out of me. Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. Anyway, okay, I'll try and, I'll try and stir up a little bit of energy just to get this video going, so anyway, I actually did get, did I get that? Yeah. I actually did find my Alice in Wonderland Wet n Wild makeup. I found a couple of pieces at the Walmart that direction, and then today I went that direction and found the rest. So um, there's still a couple of pieces that I want to add to the collection. Um, let me just say this: people are picking these displays dry. Like I was at this particular Walmart exactly like seven days ago, and I went today, and there's barely anything left. There was one, one Cheshire Cat mirror left. One. There were no brushes left. Um, there were three of the makeup cases and there was a bunch of the makeup left. There was one particular makeup, one or two of the pe specific pieces of makeup that I wanted and they did not have, unfortunately. So I'm hoping that I can still find them. I know eventually Ulta and CVS are going to hold, carry some of these. So I'm holding on hope. I'm holding on hope. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I got at the thrift store first. Um, I went to, to ah, I went to two <laughs> thrift stores and um, the first one I didn't find anything. Um, I will include clips of that particular store. Um, it's a little charity shop. They don't carry a whole lot of stuff. Uh, what they do carry, they have really, really low prices. So um, so if you can find something there, it's absolutely awesome. 
because you can walk away with some really good deals for really low price. Anyway, but at the Goodwill, I, I only bought two items, so I will just start right in on that. So I got this Mikasa plate. I love Mikasa. I have like one plate that I've owned, but I always, always notice it in the store. And I'm always like, oh, I should buy it. But they very rarely have one plate. Um, usually it's a whole set you have to buy. This was $1.99. And Mikasa Country Store International. Oven to table to dishwasher. Safe in microwave ovens. Uh, made in Japan. So these Mikasa plates, and I'm probably mispronouncing that. So forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. But I just love this plate. I've seen this plate in a local antique shop. And I think they wanted... Oh gosh, how much is that? My brain wants to say $25, but I don't think it was actually that much. But anyway, for $1.99, I just love it. I love the warmth of the yellow. And I love, see, I, should, I call them, I look at it as an Amish couple, but they're more like, like, I don't know, pioneers. I don't know. But they're cool. I love it. I just, I just think they're so cool. I had to get it. Me and my plates and my bowls. And then the other item I got, which I actually got for my daughter, and I have to explain a little bit why I got it. I got this little guitar. Isn't that cute? It's six ninety nine. It's gonna be backwards. But six ninety nine. Now it's not. It's too small for her age group, and it's. It's like it's um, brain is first act discovery. So it's like I think it's cheap at Walmart. But reason I got it is because my daughter has been seriously considering taking up guitar. But she does not want to invest money in a guitar because she knows we won't just buy one. Like she, she has money, but she doesn't want to put it towards a guitar, not knowing if she's going to like it or be good at it or anything like that. Which is fair; it's smart. Um, so we've encouraged her to get like a cheaper guitar. Um, she can buy a used one. There was a place my husband took her to; she could buy a used one, like a cheapy used one, for like sixty dollars. But um, she's just kind of been dragging her feet. So I want to encourage her in that. So. Again, this is probably made for like an eight to ten year old. It's not real big, so. But I don't, I I don't play. I don't play. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna make a joke. Anyway, but for a little for a little cheapy thing, like. Look at that. She can at least play with it. See how she feels about it. You know, it's. She doesn't know yet that I got it. She's in her bedroom when I brought this in, so I will take this to her later. So she can play around with it. But it's got all the strings and stuff. Like, even if the strings break, you know, she can put them in, tune it, learn how to tune it. Just play around with it. You know, if she loves it enough, then she'll know. And then she can, you know, move up into a nicer, bigger guitar. But anyway, so I snagged this for $7. So, anyway. So see if she likes that. Okay, I'm going to dive into... Oh, I'm so tired. No, I'm not going to dive into... I'm going to slowly tread into my makeup that I got. Hold on, I need some water. I am dragging. Oh, my goodness. I saw a video this morning. I think it was one of those short videos on, like, Facebook or YouTube. And there's this poor little lady. Like, I think it was down in, like, New Mexico or something. And she was, like, living in a trailer. And she's got, like, one room with an air conditioner. I'm like... And it's, like, 115 degrees out there. Like, good God. I've been praying for these people that they just get a little bit of a reprieve. Like, just a break from all this heat. Like, I have air conditioning. <coughs> and just standing out in this heat and going in and out and in and out. Like, I am just drained. I cannot imagine living in that kind of heat. And it's, like, 90 today. They have another... God, 25 degrees on top of that? Oh my word. No thank you. The items that I got at the Walmart last night were the little makeup blotters, or not blotters, what do you call these stupid things? I've used these before, sponges. I've used these before, but heaven help me if I can remember the proper terminology for the darn things. So, honestly, when I was looking at all the wet and wild stuff, and when I looked at these online, I'm like, I'm not going to buy those because I really don't use those. I'll wear foundation occasionally, but I'll wash my hands real clean and then I'll just use my fingers to put my foundation on. So I'm like, I'm not going to spend any money on these. But when I was at the Walmart last night, they only had this and then they had this. I got this little uh, bronzer. So when I saw they only had these two items and that was it, I'm like, screw it. I'm buying them both. I don't care. I don't know if I'm going to find anything else. So I got the sponges and I got 
the bronzer, which I haven't worn bronzer since I was like a teenager and that was an age ago, but I could probably use this as like a blush or an eyeshadow if I wanted to. It's a very cute. And then the other items that I got, I love this. This is one of the things I wanted the most. I wanted, of all the items, I wanted this the most was the Alice makeup case. Look at that. That is so, so neat. It's got a nice zipper. Wait, let me show you. It's got the zipper. I'm going to show you. Okay, let's focus. Go all the way around. And it's funny because I did not realize um, that there are actually two Alice in Wonderland makeup cases. There's, If you go online, I think to the Wet n Wild page, there were... Um, you know what? I will try and include a screenshot here. Um, it was from an uh, Alice group I'm a part of. And they actually showed there's two different makeup cases, which I did not realize. So anyway, but that is so cool. I love the clear, the clear front and Alice with the flowers. Oh, I love this. And this one was, how much was this? The price isn't on this, I don't even care, but it's so cool. I will actually use this. Like this is something I'll actually use. Like I like the idea of buying the makeups. But the things like the mirror, the brushes, the makeup bag, like those I can hold on to for a long period of time and use over and over again. Makeup will go bad. Eventually I will get tired of a color, what have you, or use it up and then it's gone. But this I can always have, which is awesome. Okay. Moving right along. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the other thing I wanted so badly. I wanted this so badly and I got it. It was the last one, the very last one. I like practically ran over to it. Um, let's go ahead and open it together just because I want to see what it's like. It's my tape. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Let's this way. How does one get this out? Let's see. Yes. I love it. I'm not all there myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to go watch the movie now. It looks like it has like a little sheer. Here, it's got this little thingy on it. Let's take this off. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I have to see what I'm doing here. Okay, see, so it's got this. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, isn't that? Oh, that's like a really close up mirror. See, you can see yourself. Ooh. Anyway, that's a nice little mirror, actually. Wow. Seeing a little bit more than I care to see. Anyway, but that's really cool. Oh, I love it. It's really neat because it's like textured. Let me see if you can see. So it's letting in here. It's okay. Oh my gosh, it's a little flexible. Let's see that. I'm going to admit too much, but, oh, that is so cute. I wanted this one. I think this and the makeup bag were, like, tied for, like, what I wanted the most. But this is great. This is a nice little mirror. Mm. Price to pluck. Anyway, anyway, I'm distracted. I'm distracted. Moving along to the next item. Oh, it's so cool. Mm, that's a whole freaking palette. Now, I'm not a makeup channel, so I will not be putting these on on camera. Um, there are probably plenty of other channels. There are probably plenty of girls, women out there who have been gifted this as a PR thing, whatever, that Wet n Wild has like gifted them, and they're going to go through the palette. And so I'm not going to do that here. I'm I'm not going to do that here. Um, I'm just excited that I found these. Wet n Wild has not um, gifted me these or paid me to do this. This is not sponsored or anything because my channel is so, so small. But... I will still give them free uh, advertisement just because I'm happy to find these. But these look really cool though. Like I love the shimmers. Oh my gosh. Three times five. That's 15. There's 15 colors there. That is so freaking cool. I cannot wait to try these. I want to find the brushes so stinking bad now. Oh my gosh. There was there was a huge section on the bottom. I should have taken the picture. But of, of the display in Walmart, the bottom, shell, the bottom was like three tiers in the front and three on the side, I think. And the bottom was completely empty. And I bet you that's where the brushes were. I'm going to find those brushes. I want the stinking brushes. Um, I will find them eventually. Um, but anyway, that's going to be fun to try out. So I love makeup so much. And it's just fun. Like, no one needs makeup. It's just fun, you know? I, it's, oh, it's a blast. Okay. And then I got this. What is, I don't even know what this is. Let me show you first. And I'll figure out what it is. I know they have some lip glosses. And I know they also have some like uh liquid eyeshadow i am not a fan of liquid eyeshadow just because i've tried it before and it dries in the crease of your eye you see see my makeup here look at that look at that that's what it does and this is just powder that's disgusting that's so gross anyway 
but liquid eyeliner, or no, liquid eyeshadow, excuse me, not eyeliner. If I said eyeliner, I misspoke. They do have liquid eyeliner, but I passed that. Like, I don't wear that. I don't, anyway. Um, the liquid eyeshadow absolutely sucks. I don't care for it. I don't even know what this is. It doesn't even say, oh, it does say lip gloss. Way at the bottom, right, right down here. Right down there. Lip gloss. Anyway. Oh, that's cute. That's extremely light. This one I actually am going to try on only because um, I don't have anything on my lips right now. And I'm actually really curious to find out. I might have to edit this out. It's going to take forever to get these stupid packages on. One of my fears were that these pictures were part of, you know, when you take off that clear plastic coating on makeup. I was so afraid that the, um, the picture was part of the plastic and then you take all the plastic off and the picture's gone. I'm hoping that's not the case. Here. Oh no, no, it's definitely just the cap. Okay. This is what well. This is a very, very light color. I usually wear like coral or dark red. Like I'm. Not, oh, that just blew away. So I have no idea what this is gonna look like. Let me see. I can't really see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn lip gloss since I was probably like 15. This is so funny. I'm more of a lipstick girl. This is so weird to do on camera. How do these makeup people do it? It's so odd. I'm trying to see if there's a smell. Ooh. That kind of reminds me of like fruit or something. Ooh. It almost smells like a peach or something. I like that. Well, it's a very, very light color. For me, it's like almost natural to my lip color. But I don't, it's fun. It, it has a nice little shimmer, so I don't care. It's fun. All right, and then we have this. I have no idea what this is. I probably should probably should not have bought it because I didn't, I have no idea what it, they are. I thought they were lip liners, but it may not be. Um, Two-piece multi-stick set. What are you? Wet and Wild. On the bottom, it doesn't even say. Two-piece multi-stick the back says, this royal multi six two multi four makeup sticks and really cream to powder formula that applies seamlessly. Oh, to eyes, cheeks, and lips. Oh, so whatever you want. Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, I like that. Uh, mix and match to create multiple looks that are sure to turn heads as long as they're still on. <laughs> that's cute. Oh my gosh. So it's like a gold and a red. Ah, oh, that's fun. Can you even see that? Sorry, the glare. The glare. Anyway. Again, remember, I'm not sponsored or anything, so this is not high quality. Had Wet n Wild blessed me with this, I might have put a little bit more effort into it. But they did not. But that's okay. They have no idea I exist. <laughs> okay. And then this one. I love this because it has Alice on it. Can you see her? This is... Oh, man. I'm so stiff. Ow. Liquid... Oh, this is the liquid eyeshadow. Oh, see, see, I bought this and I didn't... I, whatever but it had Alice on it. even had I known it was an eyeshadow I still would have bought it because it's got Alice on it that's cute but it's honestly I like the gold shimmer like I actually do wear gold shimmer eyeshadows so I'll give this a try this would probably be okay if you go like right below like the eyebrow where you don't have the crease or right down here like it would not be something you'd want to fill in the whole eyelid but oh, that is so neat look at that that's so cool look at the picture let me get a little closer so fun. Okay, moving on. What else did I buy? A couple more things. Oh, got the nail polishes. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What's this? Glare. This is so frustrating. I'll go to here. Actually, these I will take out so you can see them a little bit better. Um, and this nail polish set. Ah, I just did my nails today too, and I keep buggering them up. Get this out. Okay. Okay. So we have this really sweet warm yellow, wet and wild, and it's got the Dormouse on it. See that? Very cute. I like the, even the little pink lid. And then, oh, it's, I didn't even notice. It is um, Dino, Alice's cat. It says fast drying on it. So that's cool. I can like the pink lid. 
Those are nice colors. I totally would wear those. I would wear any color though. Like I love colors. So colors don't scare me. So that's fun. Though I do think that they missed out on an opportunity to do like red and white. You know, like the red roses or the white roses painted red kind of thing. Just saying. Wet and wild, you could have done it. That's okay. And the last item that I got, they actually have more items. So this is not last but last but not least. Anyway, I can't talk. Um, the Wet and Wild Blush Palette. This is blush. So I guess the other one is so I have the bronzer and the blush. But these are actually kind of nice because these are very um they're not too bright. Like I am not into bright pink blushes. It's like a really light rose, like a uh, gold, one looks like a mauve, and one looks like a shiny mauve, 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 how do you say that? <laughs> I like the pictures on the front, and then, I'll try to get a little bit closer, I'm sorry, it gets closer, and then it gets a little bit darker, I was hoping you can see that. So, I made out pretty well, I'm so excited about those, so that is quite a lot, so let's see, let's do this, and this. And there's still, there's another, there's another one of these that has Alice on the front. Like this has the Mad Hatter, this has the flower, and then there's a third one with Alice on it, which I really want to get. And get these, put them back in the bag. These, love it. And then these, so cool. I'm so happy I finally found them. Oh, I'm getting tired again of my energy. Like my energy went up with my excitement and now I'm like, Need some iced coffee. I'm so worn out. I am so. I should have put my hair up in a ponytail today. I did not do that, and I'm paying for it now. Anyway, so that is that. Oh, <laughs> I laid it down with some glass they had, so my shed or something. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have to find those and to have them. Really hoping I can find the brushes, but not at all priority. I have makeup brushes. It's just you know, it's a thing. Um. But anyway, thank you for letting me show that to you guys. Thank you for watching this far. Um, yeah, and my whole shoe debacle. I was telling Josh about that at lunch today. I'm like, did you see my shoes? And he's like, oh yeah, they're nice. I'm like, they're not. They're not. I don't like them. <laughs> they're absolutely necessary. Um, between Walmart and Target, like nobody had anything cute left over. Um, and what I could find in my size, I still didn't love. So I was stuck with buying these. So I, they're okay, you know first world problems, you know, I can't complain. I was able to go buy shoes. So I thank God for that. You know, I'm blessed to be able to do that. But these are what's left of my wedges. The top pieces I threw out, like as soon as I bought these at Target, I went straight to the trash can. I took the tags off of these, put them on, on my feet and took the other ones off and chucked them right in the trash. So yeah, the one I forgot to say earlier, the one that fell off, um, I think it fell off right before I got to the car. And then the other one, I'm like, well, I don't want to walk into the store with like one wedge on and one wedge off. I'll look really ridiculous. So I'm like, well, maybe I can pull the other one off. I yanked and tugged for like a second and it came right off. The piece is a junk. But I did, I bought them years ago. They were not high quality. They were not high end. So it's, it's, they serve their purpose. I can get rid of them now. They've been under my bed for a long time. So I can finally let them go. Like I can finally throw them in the trash. But Anyway, it was, it was a thing. It was a thing. But anyway, I got a new pair of shoes out of it. Not that I would have picked them, but I do like orange. And as I wore them, they were actually kind of comfortable. So if you think they're cute, go to Target. You'd be lucky if you could find their size. They had like size 10 and size 5 <laughs> left over. I was looking to find my, si find my size 9. So, all right. I'm going to, I'm going to end this here. I am really tired. I have to edit this. Our internet is so crappy right now. And I want to upload this and this probably will take days to finally upload just because the internet is so stinking slow. Um, and I want to go get some iced coffee and I've got a lot of laundry to do. I've been gone most of the day, most of the day, if I can talk, and I really have to catch up with some stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. I really appreciate your watching, liking, subscribing if you want to. I'd love it. It'd be great. If not, no pressure. Absolutely. <laughs> but I appreciate it when you do. So thank you so much for that. You'll have a really good day, good evening, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.